All right, this is Jer. Welcome back to another episode of me playing Oxygen Not Included. This episode, I'm going to be building an auto sweeper, or a few auto sweepers, to reduce some of the manual work in the base. So let's go to research, and we'll find that under solid material. So there it is here, auto sweeper. We'll research that. And I'm going to need a little bit of metal to build something out of that. So I'm going to take some of the lead I currently have in this area. And I'm going to get maybe a dozen pieces of copper created. Didn't point this out yet, but the auto sweeper requires refined metal in order to build. I'm also anticipating I'm going to need a bit of copper ore. So while I collect some resources here, let me just explain one thing about the auto sweeper. And that is the fact that Engineer is the only one that's able to build it. And that's because they have the Manatronics engineering skill. They just recently got Otherwise, I would have built this thing much earlier. All right, I'm just uh, gonna start to build the first auto sweeper. Most important location, I believe, is gonna be the farm. Because that's connected to food and there's a lot of manual work here. So I'm gonna build this out of lead. And as long as I'm not expecting the temperature to ever get to above 55, well, the farm's not going to do well if that happens anyway, so I'm fine with that. So I'm going to build it there. Now, the reason I'm building at this exact location is, so the white tiles here indicate where I have access to, including these farm tiles. So it has access to this storage bin, which has slime. It has access to all these nine tiles. It can automatically fill this with slime for us. So that does two really nice things. One, the duplicates no longer have to do that, saving themselves some work. The other thing, these plants, when they don't have their correct uh, material, and they're waiting for a duplicate to put something in, they're halting their growth, reducing the amount of uh, yield we can get out of it. If the auto sweeper just puts it in there really quickly, we can get a little bit more food overall. So that's nice. The downside to only engineer being able to build this thing is the fact that I'm going to get a lot of other board duplicates. And I don't want to have them wasting time, so I'm just putting up a heavy watt wire that goes up towards the uh, top of the base, which I know I'll want to have access to in future projects. I'm expecting a lot of manual work to be going on here, filling these guys. So I'm going to build it at this location. And I'm going to refactor this room just a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing a storage bin that has that filtration inside this room. So the auto sweeper has access to it. So that the duplicates will drop some sand in there. And then the auto sweeper will be the one to actually send it to the deodorizers as they need it. While we're waiting for that to be built, I'll put in the next one. That's going to be above the coal power. I'm going to make sure it has access over here to the cold storage bin. And in the meantime, or at the same time, I'm going to actually build a second cold generator. I didn't build one before because I didn't have heavy watt wires, but now that I do, I think we're okay to do that. And that is, in fact, connected to circuitry so or logic circuits, so that is good. While Engineer goes off and puts the final touches on the auto sweepers, I'm going to do a health check on the base. Now this is a little bit different than what I've done in episode 9 where I looked at the buildings and rooms. I'm looking at the base overall. I'm using the overlays to do that. So first thing is I looked at the oxygen overlay and I noticed a lot of polluted oxygen at the top and bottom of my base. So I'm just going to install some deodorizers to deal with that. As I'm going around I noticed the uh, oxygen levels in some areas, bottom and below my base again, are a little bit lower than they need to be. So I'm going to put some more exit pipes from my oxygen system to deal with that. I'm going to look at my circuitry, see if there's anything for, that has potential to be overloaded. It looks fine. Temperature wise, we're doing very well. A little bit of heat on the sides of our main base, but nothing in, uh, in our base that's of concern. Just looking at light. So I'm looking at my pipes, both the liquid and gas. Just one minor issue here I found. There's a potential if I connect this pipe with something other than chlorine. That could mess up one of my systems. It's an ugly base. Not to worry about that. I'm going to do with decoration much later. No disease. 
growing things, buildings are intact. With that, I'm going to say everything is looking pretty good. Let's go on to the next episode where we can advance another project. And I'll see you there.